Okay guys, so the next section of the course, we're gonna be concentrating on the legato technique. So first of all, let's talk about what that essentially means. The difference between legato and staccato that we looked at in the previous chapter is that staccato is multiple notes played back to back with short bursts in between. So when we're doing the shredding, it's lots of little short notes and that will create a small separation in between the notes. Whereas legato, the notes all flow into each other smoothly. So often in a sort of a notated context, you might hear the terms tied or slurred together. So if you're not familiar with what legato sounds like, here's a brief example. So as you can see, when we're putting the legato technique on the guitar, it's essentially just a lot of hammer-ons and pull-offs. So what I wanna do is I wanna talk about some of the issues that may arise in the early stages of legato playing. Okay, so I wanted to talk about some of the common problems that may occur during the initial stages of doing hammer-ons and pull-offs. So your hammer-on technique is pretty simple. We're just picking the first note and then we hammer down whatever other notes we want on that string. So if I've got a pentatonic, you're only sort of playing one note a string and then the second note uh, would be hammered on. So if I've got something that's more like a three note per string diatonic scale shape, I've got three notes per string. So I play the first note and then hammer on the next two. So that's all relatively easy. But once we start working backwards, something like this, there's a couple of things that can go wrong with pull-offs, mainly because uh, a lot of people mistake pull-offs with reverse hammer-ons. That's when you do stuff like this, sort of reacting to the note. The hammer-on's really reactive in that you can sort of wait for the right moment and slam it down. The problem with doing that with a pull-off is it kind of doesn't work. If we have the pointer waiting behind the pinky, if I'm doing this eight to five on the first string, what I'm actually doing with my pinky is picking the string, it's like I'm doing this. I'm playing the string and then I'm plucking towards the floor. So I can't be doing a reverse hammer on this way. And the other thing as well is that the hammer on goes in, the pull off doesn't go out. If I do this, it makes a little bit of a sound, but I'm not creating a new attack. So keep in mind that my right hand, my picking hand is not doing anything to create that extra second note. So this hand has to work twice as hard. So keep in mind that when we're doing pull offs, that we want to actually be plucking the string with our fretting hand. So when I'm doing something like that and I'm rolling, you'll notice that I'm pulling towards the floor, not pulling out at you guys at the camera. Doesn't work. The other thing that we're gonna to wanna to do and keep in mind when we're doing these hammer-ons and pull-offs is trying to keep volume consistency. So if you're finding that you have stuff like a really strong pick note and sort of a weak second note, that just means that your technique needs to be worked on and strengthened up. So your end game is that we wanna be able to have these extra picked notes uh, with your fretting hand on the pull-offs and we wanna maintain an equal volume from the pick notes to either the hammer-on or, or uh, pulled off legato notes as well. 